my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. There's a little bit of a, a confusing thing that I need to clear up and I got the autofocus on again because I'm going to come close in a second and talk about picks. And that is that when we talk about picks, we often talk about the material they're made up, but we very often discuss the thickness of it. And that is inaccurate if that is the, the, the basis from which we choose our picks. Because what really is the most important for me, for me personally, is that it's totally inflexible because when the pick is totally inflexible, it gives me a direct response. It's kind of a, an extension of my fingers and there's no delay. If it's flappy like this one, uh, uh, then, and, and it moves, then I know there's gonna be a tiny delay. And as I play with the pick, it gets a little bit softer and softer. So my brain has to adjust to that delay. When is it going to pick the string? The cool thing about, you know, a thin pick like this is it, it really, it's really good for a Western guitar when you want to strum, it gives a clear sound. Um, but I always use this big stubby Dunlop here. And when I play a Western guitar, I just hold it a little bit looser uh, to make it, you know, go from string to string like a strumming movement. But that takes a couple of, you know, years to, to get used to doing totally unconsciously if you're not going to lose the pick all the time. So, um, Without patting myself too much on the back, I really, this pick here is of course extremely big, uh, the big stubby. That's why it's called the big stubby. Let me get the mic a little closer here. So it's a pretty big pick. Um, but what it does is it has a cavity in the middle, which for one, uh, makes my grip on it much better. So I never lose this pick. Um, secondly, it's a very thick pick, so it doesn't move at all. And of course, there's some preferences with how much pick are you holding? What's the distance between your thumb and your index finger? And but this is the cavity makes it, you know, make, make, makes it much thinner to hold than it actually is when you look at it from this perspective here. But the cool thing about it is the tip. The tip is where we really should be discussing picks because the tip here, let me see if I can get it up close like that. Can we make it that sharp? The tip is like a sharp edge, like on a knife. Um, so, and that is really, that gives me that clear sound, but I can also angle it a little bit to the string. If it's parallel to the string, then I get a very sharp sound. If I angle it a little bit, then I get a rounder sound. So I have total control here and achieve the same softness that I can with a rounder pick. If I take this one, you'll see that, that it has an almost triangular tip. So it's very fat. It's very thick. And then it goes like straight in, like a triangle in the tip. I hope you can see that. Uh, uh, <laughs> the camera's struggling to, to keep up. Um, but so that's a different experience. It's, it, it feels softer to pick with. Uh, and it doesn't give me quite the same high-end sound, you know, or, you know, as much high-end as the sound. But it's still super inflexible. And it's really thick, this is. And I like holding it. It's a really cool pick. Um, but... So, and then we have this one. It's a little bit flexible, which I don't like, but it sounds really good if you play a Western guitar, uh, as I said. And it gives you a lot of high end in the sound because it's just thin all the way, right? So uh, it can be a little bit hard to hold on to these picks, especially if they're all, you know, uh, sliding like, like the other one here. And then you can just take a piece of sandpaper uh, to, to, to make up for that, to make it rough. Um, so. But, but so when you choose your pick, look at the tip, right? And I warmly recommend that you use a pick that does not move at all. And if you do already, and if you really like it, then by all means, continue to do so. If you wanna, you know, expand, uh, if you wanna try something else, then you can gradually use stiffer and stiffer picks. So you, you transition into something else without feeling that, oh, oh this is really uncomfortable. Um, but, so that's my two cents on picks. So I really would like you to focus on the tip of the pick. 
uh, I have another video that is about, a, you just search my YouTube channel and see, um, because I recommend that you use a purple Dunlop which is two or three millimeters. It has a very round tip. I used that in the in the beginning, and that really helped me pick more accurately uh, because it makes up for the inaccuracies that you that you have in your picking depth. So you might want to go watch that video um, as well. So that's you know. And the last thing I want to say about picks is that this is what shapes your sound more than anything else. I would say first you need to choose the right pick. If you really like, you know. Uh, <laughs> It really shapes your sound, and if you take off the distortion, then you can really hear what I mean, and then use different picks. Uh, this, as I said, the, the Big Stubby Dunlop is so sharp that it gives me both, I can play parallel and get all the high end, I can angle it a little bit, or slant it, whatever that, and get a softer sound. But uh, it's, it's really important when it comes to sound. Uh, of how you play. A guy like Paul Gilbert, you know, he presents new pickups, he just found these new pickups, and then he plays the guitar and it sounds exactly like it's always, you know, because it's his playing style, his way of phrasing, and the pick he uses. Um, and uh, I would say second, when it comes to sound, is your pickups. I used to take guitars apart, try to figure out how to get the right sound, um, and I would say that the pickups is a huge, uh, shaper of your sound. So pick, pickups, and then the guitar, basically. Of course, there are many other things to, to consider, you know, other than sound, but, um, but that's the order in my perspective. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.